A chickpea is neither a chick nor a pea. Discuss. Ciao amici, Christina here. In this video, I show you how to make chickpea bread. While this is called chickpea bread, this by no means resembles bread as you know it at all. So don't expect it to taste like bread or feel like bread when you roll it around in your mouth. It has more of a consistency like polenta. If you like polenta, then you will love this. More good news is, is that if you are gluten-free, then this is the bread for you. You're gonna love this bread. You wanna start with 200 grams of chickpea flour. You can grind your own if you have the machine to do it, but if you do, be sure to wear your PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. Because always and forever, safety first in the kitchen. But if you're not feeling adventurous, then just buy chickpea flour from the store. Add four grams of salt, and then combine all the dry ingredients. Add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil into a measuring cup full of 640 milliliters of water. Pour the liquid into the flour mixture and combine the ingredients with a whisk, taking care to break up any and all lumps as best as you can. Cover and allow to sit from one hour to overnight. I tried waiting both one hour and overnight and I didn't really find a difference in the consistency or taste of the chickpea bread. It just depends on how much time you have during the day to dedicate to it. Grease an eight inch or nine inch baking dish with olive oil. Give the mixture one more good stir and then pour it in the baking dish. Sprinkle whatever toppings you want on it. Dried herbs, fresh herbs, coarse salt, pepper, chopped garlic, whatever you want. In this case, I am using everything bagel seasoning because I am digging on this right now. Bake it in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes, checking after the 40 minute mark. The chickpea bread is done when a toothpick stands on its own in the middle and when you remove it, it's clean. You can eat it hot when it comes out of the oven, warm when it cools off a little bit, or completely cold. The next day you can fry it in a good oil like the Sicilians do. I will tell you that when it's hot, the consistency is like firm pudding. So that means it's a little bit soft in the middle, but not runny. When it cools, this is when it has the consistency of polenta. You can also slather on your favorite sauce for added pizzazz and jazz hands. I've had it all the ways I've mentioned and it works really well as a snack or a side dish. <laughs> Sweet beans, this is really good. Have you ever had chickpea bread? Let me know in the comments below. Ciao now! If you wanna try more easy and delicious recipes, click the video right, right now. now. Right now. Have you ever had little kids running around behind your back when you're trying to record? Let me know in the comments below. I can't hear anything. Okay, Sophie, you there? Well, okay. I can't really see. Okay, hold on.